going on everyone? Welcome to a brand new movie review. My eyes are a little red. I'm a little teary eyed because I just got out of seeing How to Train Your Dragon The Hidden World. Now this is the conclusion, the finale to the whole How to Train Your Dragon series, which I actually just watched for the first time. I've been playing catch up from the last couple of years and I have no idea how I've missed these films till now. But thank you to my friend for getting on my butt about this because now I'm in love with this world and devastated that this was the finale because this was an excellent finale to what might I say is a brilliant trilogy. Before I get into more into this review, guys, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you guys enjoyed this video. And plus, make sure to check out Sam Rashawn Films down below and hit that website up for advanced movie screens like How to Train Your Dragon. How to Train Your Dragon 3 takes place at quite a couple years after the second one, which I thought the second one was very well done for background history. I love the first one. I think it is a near masterpiece. The second one, I think, is still really good. It almost hits the bar of the first one, but I found the villain to be a little bit lacking and not as menacing and just a guy who yells and twirls a stick and really isn't all that scary going into the third one again i was super pumped and super excited to see how they will conclude this whole trilogy and as i might say the, the really the only nitpick i can have with this film is it is a little predictable that is it i mean watching the trailer i could tell you exactly what was going to happen and kind of watching the film from the early stages i could tell you exactly what was going to happen but that didn't deter from how much i flipping loved how to train your dragon 3 i think this is not just again adds to how great this trilogy is this now definitively states and puts this trilogy in some of the best in, in the talks of being one of the best trilogies of all time each film has kept the same quality same level of professionalism and passion and the third one is that there's no let back and no take back of that it is a passion filled fueled project from the creators and overall just an emotional arc for our main hero hiccup who i think is one of the most relatable heroes in any type of film i've ever seen which is why i'll actually be doing a separate video on friday talking about why i think the series is so beloved so make sure to look out for that um but how to train your dragon the is so damn special on that i find it so special because again it continues the story with hiccup and all of his friends but really delving deeper into hiccup and what is it to become a leader what is it to become into yourself and what your father wanted you to become and really, I think one of the great things in the storyline this time around is that the villain in here is very menacing. He's very scary. And he's, yeah, he's one dimensional. But at the same time, you see why his passion is going somewhere. But it also pushes Hiccup to be a better leader, to think better, to think for others and not just himself and what he wants, but what others could want. And I think that this villain is so great in that manner that he pushes the main protagonist and i think that's also what could make a great villain is that not just understanding his purpose but even a great villain can make a great protagonist be better and have to learn different lessons and i love it that it's just not hitting you over the head it's it's more stuff that just plants inside plants those little seeds inside of you and you're sitting there thinking like damn this is a smart movie earliest steps of this film to the ending steps i had a big smile on my face with tears in my eyes just overly enjoyed with how much greatness is going on in this film again like i said this is a very great concluding chapter to this whole trilogy it closes out every question that you'd ever wanted from the past and previous films to now and overall just fulfilling hiccups arc as this coming of age story of this young boy that we saw in the first one to this full grown adult now this film has tons of emotions and it might make you leave the theater crying a little bit or crying of joy or crying of sadness the film has some excellent action sequences, in particular one of the very first ones and towards the last action scene within the climax, jaw dropping. I was literally on the edge of my seat, like gripping my thighs, gripping my fists and going, oh my god, where is this going to go? Because this isn't a trilogy that I've really stuck up with. There's, I haven't watched all the trailers, especially for this one. I've only seen part of the first one because I did a trailer reaction to it, but... It, it was so unique to not know where much was going. And even though, again, like I said, it is predictable. I was still on the edge of my seat wondering how this is going to end. That's what shows how great this movie is. It's greatly paced. I didn't look at the runtime at all. It just felt fast and furious. The dragons in here, all the animation in here looks great. It's easily the best animated film from DreamWorks. and might even be the best animated film in general from animation standpoint because everything in here is insane when you actually go to the hidden world that world is 
jaw-dropping beautiful. The colors, the lighting, the special effects, it kind of reminded me of the world of Coco. I, I loved what How to Train Your Dragon did with all the different types of effects and stuff that we learn into this mythology that it's been building up. Train Your Dragon 3 is again an excellent concluding chapter to this. A great coming of age story from what we saw in the first one to this one now with just a great friendship, great messages all around, excellent action scenes throughout it, just a ton of fun with the laughs, the smiles, the emotion, and the brilliantness of the script. How to Train Your Dragon 3, The Hidden World is an excellent concluding chapter and I'm so happy that I fell in love with this series. I'm a little sad but I cannot wait to just put all these films into an endless rewatch and just constantly rewatch them. When I finally have kids, I can't wait to show them this whole trilogy but just as much as I fell in love with it, I know they're going to fall in love with it and I hope you have fallen in love with it. So guys, with all that said, I'm going to give How to Train Your Dragon 3 an A know what your guys thoughts are on this film i know it, it, it's already been out everywhere i feel like one of the last people to have seen this film but let me know what your guys thoughts are on how to train your dragon 3 did you guys love it did you hate it let's talk about it down below in the comments and also guys make sure to tell me what your favorite how to train your dragon film is look out for that new video on friday where i'm talking about why how to train your dragon is so beloved and guys i'll make sure to see you guys soon tons of reviews coming out in the next couple of weeks i got a lot of stuff coming up Trust me, big plans for this year. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys soon. Stay classy.